let's take a step back for a moment and think about what signing and sealing and applying your license really means. When you become a professional engineer, you basically have to take the creed set by the National Standard of Professional Engineering or National Society of Professional Engineers, which states that you're going to protect the health, welfare, and safety of the public. You're taking a very high creed, a high calling. And so when you have to sign and seal a drawing and deliverable that's going to be built in the field, that's something that someday you can walk into, show your friends and family, say, hey, I had a hand in designing this project, that's a big deal because that means you're putting your professional license on the line there to say, I guarantee that this is going to protect the health, welfare, and safety of the public. Exactly what you said, Jared. It's your opportunity to impact the community in a positive way. I think that's what makes engineering very exciting. And if you're out there and you're contemplating on whether or not I should get my PE license, whether or not it's going to help me on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, Jared's example, I believe is a good one, how he's using it on a very regular basis. He's using it on exciting projects. And and his point about the health and safety of the public is really what's paramount for us as licensed engineers yes. because we hold health and safety of the public really in our hands in a way because we have to make sure that whatever we're designing is safe for them, whether it's a roadway, whether it's a bridge, whether it's a building, whether it's a dam, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. There's a lot that comes along with it and it is a prestigious profession and getting that license, if you have the capabilities of getting it, you're maybe watching this because you took the FE or maybe you're still thinking about it, definitely, definitely do 